And Tyler, looking forward to it. We'll see you soon. Well, Frankfurt tried to help fix Louisville's busing problem today, passing a bill that will allow more people to provide transportation to schools. As WDRB's Katrina Nickel tells us, your child's new bus may be a nine-passenger van. In the mornings, there's five different buses that we get to go through to figure out which one she's getting on. Sometimes delayed and often changed. JCPS parents have been dealing with bus problems all school year. It's an issue felt in other districts across the Commonwealth, which is why lawmakers worked on a bill that will allow employees to transport students in district-owned vans. All they need is a valid driver's license. This opens up a, a door for um, more employees participating and more vehicles to get the students around in a short period of time. It's passed. Those in favor vote aye, those opposed nay. With bipartisan support in the House and Senate. I'm grateful to be able to just add this tool to the, to the tool belt. Uh, of the districts. It now sits on Governor Andy Bashir's desk. Lawmakers' proposed budget also increases state funding for school transportation the next two fiscal years. The state would fund 90% of costs in year one and then fully fund transportation in year two. I think this will be um, pivotal in, in improving transportation operations. In the past, JCPS has criticized lawmakers for not funding transportation fully. State law requires it to be fully funded, but lawmakers have taken advantage of a loophole to not. The state's largest school district says the proposed budget will give JCPS an extra $22 million a year over the next two fiscal years for transportation. Parents hope the latest move means JCPS won't cut back on who gets a seat on the bus. If they do that, it's just going to cause chaos. A lot of parents are going to be upset. Katrina Nickel, WDRB News.